are live from Los Angeles. I'm Jenny Taft here with Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. Guys, good morning. How are we today? Good morning, Jen. How are you today? Better than uh, got up in Toronto. Oh, you got a new suit yeah. on today, huh? huh? Yeah, don't think I know you try to sneak a new suit past me. I didn't me. even know. You did know. I didn't even know what you're I talking noticed. about. You know what? Nice. Huh? <laughs> oh, you didn't notice. You just huh. put something on, huh? You know, I just care about my arguments. That's all I can. Why are you putting that new suit on today? One Somebody focus. wants to try, try to, to distract, distract the you, audience you with what he's wearing. You tried to distract me. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I think I just succeeded. It, it worked a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. not a little bit. Huh. What do you got on, an old to suit today? Nah, you know, today. A, little, some old, a little Caesar Antolini, a little something yeah. I put together here. <laughs> a little something. <laughs> a little something, old rags I threw on. I was in a hurry this morning. <laughs> the yeah. last thing, those are not rags. Uh, we have a lot to get to on today's show. How about this for a story? Should Zion stay out of New Orleans? What? And why is Odell staying away from Cleveland? That's a good question. A lot to get to, but yeah. we have to start with the NBA playoffs. The Bucks. Took game one at home last night over the Raptors, as most people expected. The Greek freak had a big game with 24 points and 14 rebounds, but no one expected the Bucs to get a career playoff high 29 points from Brooke Lopez. On Toronto's side, Kawhi Leonard scored 31, but he only had two points in the fourth quarter, and the Raptors were outscored 32-17 in the fourth. Mm. So, Shannon, yes. what was the biggest reason why Toronto lost? Uh, Milwaukee's defense, especially in the second half. Mm. And once they got past that first quarter where they were mm. just letting Toronto get wide open looks at the three and getting whatever they want, Skip, they really buttoned it down, especially in the second half. They held Toronto to 28% shooting. Um, and only Kyle Lowry was the only Raptor player that shot 50% or better. And when you can hold Kawhi to 10 of 26, Siakam was 6 of 20, Mark Gasol 2 of 11, 1 for 5 for Danny Green. Mm. Skip, you know, it's, it's hard to win like that. And they're forcing Kawhi. They did a great job of forcing Kawhi to become a volume shooter. Mm. That's not what he is. In the last year, he's very he's efficient. Mm. You look at his numbers in the uh, postseason, he's mm. 50, 53% shooting. Mm. But that's not even close to 50 uh, fi over 50% last night. And so I thought the length, you know, you got Giannis at almost seven foot. You got mm. Meritage. You got Ilya Sova. You got Brooke Lopez. Mm -hmm. Middleton is... And, and uh, Bledsoe is a very good on-ball defender. Hmm. So you got they can throw a lot of different looks at him, and I thought it caused them some problems. Hmm. But what really happened, Skip, they cut the lead in the third quarter. They cut it down to four points. Hmm. And right before the end of the third, Siakam hits a, a shot, a 35-foot three-pointer, hmm. pushes it to seven. Yep. But to start the fourth, hmm. Kawhi's on the bench oh. because he had played 33 of a possible 36 minutes. He's on the bench a lot. Can I finish? You gonna let me finish? No, I'm just. It's not, it's yeah, I, was, I was just. I, let me I was talk. Amplifying what no, you were you saying. Know, I don't want you to amplify. I don't want you <laughs> Adding on. I'm good. My voice carried. Good? Yeah, my voice yeah. carried, so I'm amplifying it quite well. Oh. <laughs> but Kawhi had to start on the bench, and what we've seen, mm. and this happens a lot. It's not just unique to Toronto or unique to Kawhi. When your best player sits down, normally the team cuts until you leave. Hmm. He starts the fourth quarter on the bench. They have a seven-point lead. Mm -hmm. He rests for about two and a half minutes, and when he comes back, it's two points. Hmm. And hmm. by that time, Milwaukee had gained control. Really? Brooke Lopez. That's interesting. Like, who is this I guy? Know. Uh -huh. A guy that scored 27, 27 points uh -huh. in five games all of a sudden comes up with a career-high 29 points hmm. in game one. Hmm. And so, remember, I told you, I said, if you ask, we had this conversation yesterday. Hmm. You want Kawhi, you want Giannis. Mm. I said, I think Kawhi is the better player, mm. but I believe Giannis has the better supporting cast, and they proved me right last night. Did so they? the defense in which Milwaukee, mm. what? Yeah, they did. Deployed mm. on, on Toronto. Yeah. That's why I skipped. You see, you see the numbers? 15 of 42, 34 of 92, 37% mm. from the field, 35% mm. from the three-point line. Hmm. And I got that point That's spread all, right all you, all you did I, did I get that point spread? You like that point spread I picked last night's game? I don't even know what You know, I said 104 to 96. Really? I was off a little bit. Old Sharp Adamas. It was 108 to 100. Well, Sharp Adamas was really <laughs> off in his assessment of number two yesterday because yeah. I tried to tell you, I keep trying to tell you, number two cannot be trusted when the stakes are at the highest. He had no business making that game seven game winning <laughs> shot. You know it, and I know it. It was short. It hit the near side of the rim. It had no business lucking in, and it became the luckiest shot in the history of the NBA playoffs. But he followed that up by last night, right on schedule, predictably, 
costing his team a game the Raptors should have won oh, on the road. Him. Oh, did he cost them? As you just pointed out, I, I, I got to get a different TV. I, I don't know. Maybe I saw a different game, yeah. but you got this part right, and then you lost me on all the rest okay, of it. But what you got right was Siakam hit a three-point bomb at the end of the third quarter, a buzzer-beating third-quarter bomb yeah. that put them up seven points at Milwaukee. They had been in control of that game all the way. Every time Milwaukee made a little run, Toronto said, no, we got this. Correct. So now we're going to the fourth quarter up seven. And wouldn't you think it's now time for your quote unquote superstar to take you home in game one? Isn't it time for the man you call the best two-way player in all of basketball? The man you proclaimed yesterday is better than the Greek freak. Mm -hmm. Isn't it time for him to take over that game in Milwaukee? Doesn't he get a rest? Uh, well, every all the stars get a rest for a couple of minutes to start the quarter. Okay, so he got get, his couple of minutes okay, off and, and then, then he came happened? in. And then what? That's, I'm glad you asked. From that point on, number two played like number two. And I mean real <laughs> number two. And from that point on, he, the North, went nothing but South. You know it, and I know it. Number two, who quit on the San Antonio Spurs, virtually just didn't show up last night in the fourth quarter for his new team because number two, and you said he's he turned into a volume shooter. Yes. He took three shots in the fourth quarter. He took twenty six. He, he took three shots. This is the game on the line. You got a, a lead going to the fourth. You took three shots in the fourth quarter. How many did he make, Mr. Sharp? He didn't Help make me any. out. What does your researcher he tell didn't you? Make any shots. He made no shots he in had, the fourth he quarter. Had two points. He made two measly free throws. And I gotta say it. I watched all the post game coverage on TNT and other networks. I read tons of post-game coverage on all kinds of websites. Okay. I didn't hear one peep of criticism for number two. And you know why? I hate to say this, but I think I've done it again. I think I have turned number two into a sympathetic figure. I think I have turned number two, now that LeBron is on his couch and, and completely out of the picture, into the most sympathetic and overprotected, quote unquote, superstar I, this side. Oh, overprotected. Wait until I get to what I'm going to get to here. <laughs> but once again, all I heard after the game was it boiled down to a, a shootout between Brooke Lopez and Kyle Lowry. Who knew? Yeah. What about that guy? How can you give him a pass for that? Because we keep seeing this in the playoffs, and I keep pointing up to you, but let's just look carefully at what happened last night in the fourth quarter. The, the biggest shame was your guy, the best two-way player in basketball, he got his shot blocked twice by Brooke Lopez. Can we Brooke see the Lopez first one? Brooke Lopez six, six minutes and 11 seconds left. They're down five, and, and your guy, number two, goes into the lane and throws up the weakest you know what? You, you will see. He got that. That was just weak. That was desperate I mean, force. It was okay. a runner. Let's go to the next one. They're down five at that point. Then 139 left. You're only down four. This is a big shot in the game, and you drive on Brooke Lopez, and he just takes the ball away from you. Just took it right out of your hands. Are you that guy or not that guy? The game is teetering. If I'm not mistaken, is Brooke Lopez an NBA player? Yeah, he's the guy the Lakers dumped last year. They just flat out said, see you later. He had a game. Walk out the door. Yeah, that was, that, that think okay. about it. That's this, a playoff don't, don't, really don't, don't, don't give me any of that nonsense. This is You would have laughed before. Yeah, it, on this show, one, 24 hours ago, yes. you would have laughed if I'd say, Brooke Lopez is going to outduel your guy in the fourth quarter. You just laugh at okay, that, well, right? You, okay. okay, I'm not finished. It is my turn right now. Let's look at the shot he took. And this is the key one. This is... Uh, Two minutes and six seconds left. Number two takes a shot for the lead. This is just two minutes left in the game. Watch, watch this. This is a three-point shot. You want to talk about a brick? That, that one was shot so badly it had no chance of lucking in, right? Did you see that? It hit the backboard first. I, I saw. You like that? That's clutch city. That's, that's for the lead. That's to regain control of that game. So you, you're telling me that a guy who took... 39 shots in game seven at home, managed to take only three shots. Of course, he missed 23 Hold of those on. shots. But Skip, you three shots? Come on. But How you, can you let him off the hook? No, I'm not letting You my, let him off the hook. But, hold on. You said he took. Lord have it, mercy. Hold on. If I'm not mistaken, in game seven, did he take 39 mm -hmm. shots in the fourth quarter or did he, he take 20, he missed, 39 shots? He missed 23 shots in that game. Okay. He yeah. missed 16 yeah. last night. That's yeah. what I mean by volume shooter. But you said something very interesting. Mm. You said he only attempted three shots last night. Mm. He was 0 3. 
If you don't mind, I don't know if the people, because the people at home don't have the score sheet. Can you tell the people at home how many shots did Giannis Antetokounmpo attempted last it's night just, before? Who won the game? Oh, but see, now uh, it's who won the game. Uh, 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 how many points did Giannis uh, score in the fourth quarter? Here's what's funny about that. The, the whole Toronto defense, it's the wall that they put up against Giannis. Okay. Meanwhile, would you believe they played your guy number two just straight up the whole night? Most of the fourth quarter, it was just Chris Middleton one on one on number two. Well, how did Brooke, you like that? How, how did Brooke Lopez block wow. his shot at Chris Middleton? Well, he just drove it in the middle. Oh, he, exactly. He got, so yeah. he had, he's yeah. getting help. Okay. But, I, but no, I need you to answer this. Mm. How many points did the Greek freak have in the fourth quarter? Mm. Well, Three. Let's, let's look at the. You One look at more. The, you want to look at the big stats about the the game stats? Yeah, go ahead. Do that. Yeah. Fourth quarter. Who, who had the most rebounds in the game? Who dominated the backboards? Hmm. Uh, Chris Middleton. Hmm. Interesting. Chris Middleton had six rebounds. Yeah. Uh, Remember, I said yesterday, the difference is Kawhi, I believe he's the better player, but Greek Freak has the better supporting cast. Well, they just confirmed what I, they validated what I thought no. yesterday. Kyle Lowry's a three-time All-Star. What, what did he do last night? He scored 30 points. Night, yeah. he, he scored 14 points in the fourth quarter, and you still couldn't pull it off. Okay, what did you Brooke, still, what, what you, did Brooke you, you want to do? talk about help in the fourth quarter? Who had the most help? Kyle Lowry gave number two the most help you could conceivably oh, no. have. Brooke Lopez had 13. Way to go. Miritich had seven. Yeah. Chris Middleton had five. They only had three players to score. You, you don't like any of those guys. Mark Gasol. It doesn't matter what I like or not. Is, what, a five-time All-Star and a one-time defensive player of the year? That was a long time ago. Yeah. He, Mark, Mark I, I Gasol told you is yesterday. Look, look, from look, that. At, look at the playoff experience that number two has on his side. Danny Green. All I'm asking Woo. The thing is to say, see, what you try to do is you try to pin everything on Kawhi. He, Kawhi you, didn't you, Okay, play. you can't have it both ways. What if you, you say he's that guy, if you say he's a superstar, all I keep hearing is he's the MVP of the playoffs. Well, if you're the MVP of the playoffs, you can't do that. And by